This is certainly not what any homeowner would want to come home and see a huge hole in the middle of the street. The cave in causing issues along East Brackenridge in Louisville and tonight for the first time we're getting a look from underground. Keith McIver snapped these pictures in the hours after it became real clear real quick. Something was wrong. Just the street opened up. Along East Breckenridge Street last weekend. You know, it's Kentucky, Corvette Museum. We initially thought, brilliant, a sinkhole. I'm going to wake up in the sewers in the morning. Louisville MSD actually calls this a cave-in. <laughs> and for the first time, the agency is giving us an up-close look from under the street and explains the issue that likely caused it. So when those, that water gets rolling through there, which it's amazing how fast it builds up when it's raining, then it, if it's that one brick is out, it starts pulling that soil and then it starts unraveling and more and more come loose. Sewer service was not interrupted because of the cave-in. Neighbors like McIver can keep flushing and showering without any issues. Still, I'm always careful when I say I'm frustrated because I feel like I'm pretty blessed. You know, I've got a good life, nice house, good wife, but uh, that is frustrating. Life as he knows it has been interrupted. Is this the first time that you've heard of something like this happening in Louisville? Lord, no. In fact, there's another on 15th Street being worked on as we speak and more in the past few years. You and I may be having this conversation in 12 months for the road behind the house. You know, it's a beautiful old historic neighborhood and it has beautiful old historic infrastructure. So you have to, you know, refurbish and rehab that through the years. The sewer line here was installed in 1897 and the work to fix it for the next 100 years is underway. Now the crews can safely get down there. But when this problem underground will be a problem no more, is still very much up in the air. Yeah, we, we, we don't really know. Because uh, work is just getting started. MSD says crews will not have to dig up the entire street and said they'll fix holes and put epoxy coating on the impacted areas.